Welcome to the enchanting wonderland nestled between two stunning lakes, where the Swiss Alps majestically rise to kiss the sky. Get ready to explore the top 10 things to do in Interlaken, Switzerland, a paradise for nature enthusiasts, thrill seekers, and those seeking unforgettable memories. Join us as we uncover the breathtaking beauty and exhilarating experiences that await in this magical destination. Number 10. Ice Magic. In winter it's normal for towns to set up temporary ice rinks, but Interlaken goes way beyond that. On Hohe Weg from the middle of December to the end of February, Ice Magic is a small world of ice. There are five rinks at Ice Magic, all interconnected by 450 meters of ice ramps. In the evenings you can hire a lane at the Bavarian Curling Rink. Unlike the Olympic sport this game is easy to pick up and more like bowling on ice. After a fun couple of hours zipping around the ice you can warm up with hot chocolate or mulled wine, or share fondue at the chalet-style eatery. Number 9. Hohe Weg. This street and promenade is like the backbone of Interlaken, diagonal and parallel to the air as it flows from Lake Brienz to Lake Thun. Walking in the direction of Unterseen, the left side of Hohe Weg has been kept free of construction. There's a line of flower gardens and parks like Hohimat which leaves clear views to the Bernese Alps. And on the right side is a string of high-class hotels interspersed with boutiques, bars and cafes, as well as Interlaken's casino. Number 8. Justestal Alpine Dairy. Get up bright and early and take the twisting mountain road to Biedenberg for a tour of an authentic alpine dairy. Tours are only given first thing in the morning, starting at 7.15. You'll strike out on an invigorating walk in the pasture to view the herd with a guide, before meeting the dairyman. He'll show you behind the scenes of a real Emmental dairy, and the cheese made here will be waiting for you on the table for a communal breakfast at the end of the tour. Visits takes place on Tuesdays from June to September, and Fridays on request. Number 7. Unterseen. West of Interlaken and on the shore of Lake Thun is this pretty medieval town, which has a quieter, less touristy character. Unterseen is essentially a suburb of Interlaken, across the air by Interlaken West train station. On Markbrunnen, the old marketplace, stands the rustic tower of a 13th century church, as well as the Stathos. Now a restaurant, this used to be the town hall, but actually started as an inn for cattle drivers in the 15th century. Also on the square is a museum about the birth and growth of tourism in Interlaken from the 18th century on. Amble around the streets for a while, checking out the chalets and their exaggerated eaves and calling in at local amenities like bakeries. Number 6. St. Beatus Caves. Right above the northeastern of Lake Thun is a karst cave system that got its name from the 6th century Irish monk, Beatus. He is claimed to have lived here, and according to legend ousted a dragon when he moved in. The caves have a kilometer-long walkway, impressive chambers where you'll come across strange concretions, dark chasms and underground waterfalls. Also on the site is the Cave Museum, documenting the history of the caves, how they were explored in modern times and explaining their wildlife and geology. The restaurant is in a loggia gazing out over Lake Thun and its mountain backdrop. Number 5. Jungfraujik. Interlaken Ost Railway Station is the departure point for a train ride of epic scope. Amazingly, the Interlaken line is more than 100 years old, and will lift you in stages through landscapes that almost beggar belief, up to the Jungfraujik saddle at 3,466 meters. This final railway station is the highest in Europe, at the culmination of a 7-kilometer tunnel through the mountain. From there you can enter the top of Europe building, which overlooks the permanently frozen expanse of the Alech Glacier in the UNESCO Natural World Heritage Property of Jungfrau, Alech, Beechor. There are restaurants and attractions inside, and you can then ride the elevator to the Sphinx Observatory for jaw-dropping 360 degrees indoor and outdoor views. Number 4. Lake Thun. In the west is Lake Thun, which has a deep blue color and catches the prevailing breeze. So no wonder this lake is favored by windsurfers and sailors, while the shore, enveloped by woodland, is dotted with bathing areas to entice you in summer. Out on the water, free of any obstruction you can bask in the superb panorama of Eiger, Monk and Jungfrau. This is a sight that needs to be contemplated slowly, so catch a steamboat over the lake and spend some time in tune. There's much to love about this historic town, from the stately Shadow Park and Toon Castle to the cute Altstadt around a town hall from the 1500s. Number 3. Lake Brienz. Lake Brienz to the east of Interlaken has a turquoise tone and mountain views. 
Steamboats have been chugging across this lake since the 1830s and there's now a small armada of five vessels from the first decades of the 20th century. These set off for destinations around the lake, like Giaspok, site of the castle-like Grand Hotel Giaspok and a waterfall that plunges 500 meters to the lake. The hotel is served by a funicular that goes back to 1879. And if you're feeling fresh you could take a memorable walk or bike ride back along the southern shore of Lake Brienz in a few hours, or cross to Oberried and catch the train to Interlaken. Number 2. Scheinige Platt, Wilderswil on the southern fringe of Interlaken is the northern terminus for a 115-year-old rack railway that winds into the Bernese Alps. Despite its age the Scheinige Platt railway is still one of the highest lines in Switzerland, and needless to say the vistas of peaks and mountain pasture are breathtaking. The end goal is Scheinige Platt, a ridge at 2,000 meters on the Schwarzhorn Mountain. There are ample reasons to make the trip, to come to look down on Interlaken, which seems tiny from up here, and to view mountains like Schreckhorn, the northernmost European peak over 4,000 meters. There's also an alpine garden, with 650 flowering plants, another panoramic restaurant, and the ridge is the trailhead for short and long hikes to see more of Eiger, Jungfrau and Mog. Number 1. Harder Kulm. Interlaken's own mountain can be ascended in little more than 10 minutes via a funicular. In that short space of time you'll climb more than 730 meters in a car with large windows showing the full beauty of the mountainous landscapes. At the upper station, at an elevation of 1322 meters an exhilarating scene will be laid out before you, from Lake Brienz and Lake Thun far below to the nearby Emmental Alps and the sky-scraping Bernese Alps like Eiger and Jungrau in the distance. The viewing platform projects over the slope and has a glass floor, and there's also a panoramic restaurant up here in a romantic medieval style. Thank you for joining us on this virtual escapade. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you never miss out on our upcoming travel explorations.